Okay, welcome back. So in this problem, we want to have to use vectors and show that those points are collinear. Well, just making sure collinear means that they're all in the same line. So it would be A, B, and C. So these would be my points. Maybe it's C and B, we don't really know. And so doing it with vectors, there's two ways we could do it. I can find vector AB and I could also then find vector AC. And if AB would be parallel to AC, then I know, would know they are collinear because they both shared A. That's one method I could do. The second method I could do is I could make find vector AB and the point and make the line A plus T B make this line and then I could test C if C satisfied this equation and it would be on this line as well. And so there's two methods. When we consider both, I think the first method though is probably the easier of the two. And so if this is A, B, and C, vector A, B is equal to head minus tail, so that's equal to three and six. A, C is four and eight. And we can clearly see that three, six is equal to, or parallel to rather, four, eight, since they both simplify to one and two, they are parallel, so therefore, A, B, and C are collinear. And one more example here, we wanna find the position vector of the point of intersection of this line and the perpendicular that passes through the point Hence, find the shortest distance to the line. Okay, so we need to think carefully about this. We have some, we have a vector equation here. And we can say that this is, let's say, the point negative one, negative two, five. And this is the direction two, three, negative one. We want to show, we want to find the perpendicular that passes through this point here. So somewhere here, let's say, somewhere here is the point one, two, negative five. And the perpendicular that passes through that point. So I'm looking for that. And so, in order to be the per well, it's going to be perpendicular, and then the second part is to find this distance. So, I know that this point here is every single point on the line. So this point, which I'll call D, D is equal to the general point of the line, which is negative one plus two t, or lambda in this case. and negative two plus three lambda, and five minus lambda. That's this point right there. If I could find this vector, PD, PD, that vector there is gonna be negative one plus two lambda, minus one, and negative two plus three lambda minus two, and five minus lambda minus five, minus a negative five, it's positive. So that's this vector, and if I want them to be perpendicular, I'm gonna have the dot product of this vector, PD, and the direction equal to zero. So let's simplify PD. It's equal to negative two plus 
2 lambda, negative 4 plus 3 lambda, and 10 minus lambda. When I dot that vector to the direction vector of the line, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 1, this dot product has to be 0. And that will make the perpendicular aspect dot product being 0. And that will show me exactly where this vector is opposed to this d and d. These are all the other places for d. Making it perpendicular makes that point there d. And whatever lambda is will be able to tell me where d is specifically. So when I multiply these and do the dot product or scalar product, I get negative 4 plus 4 lambda plus negative 12 plus 9 lambda minus 10 plus lambda equals 0. The 4, the 9, and the 1 makes 14 lambda. The negative 4, negative 12, negative 10 gives me negative 26, 0. And so lambda equals 26 over 14, which is 13 over 7. OK, so I get lambda is 13 over 7. If I want to find the shortest distance, it's all about finding PD, which is here. So if I want to find PD, I plug in my lambda. And so PD is negative 2 plus 26 over 7, negative 4 plus 39 over 7, and 10 minus 13 over 7. That's PD. And if I, hence, it says find the shortest distance, well, I want to now find the magnitude of PD. I want to find the magnitude of PD, which is going to be equal to the square root of this. And now I'm going to use my calculator to do it because I feel like I've made a computational error because I get these messy numbers, but I'll go anyway. So it's going to be negative 2 plus 26 divide 7 parenthesis squared plus negative 4 Oh, in parentheses, negative 4. Oh, negative 4 plus 39 divide 7 squared plus 10 minus 13 divide 7 squared. And that gives me a magnitude or a value of 8.47 would be the shortest distance. So just summarizing this problem, I find this general point D, which is the equation of the line. This is the general point for any point on the line. And then I find vector PD by subtracting the two. And then I dot product with the direction vector, which then will find me lambda for when they are perpendicular. And then I can find the magnitude for the shortest distance.